Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and this is where I will show you how to use the diffuse BSDF shader node. So just to begin with adding a UV sphere as shown in our example here, just click on the suggestible branch and want to give it some sub subdivisions. Click on subdivide modifier like this. Just I want to set it to level two like this, then shade smooth. Also shade auto smooth like this and let's begin with opening up the shader editor so just i want to split it just a tiny bit like this zoom in in order to see it better so with the diffuse bsdf node just i want to click on this button and uh, change it to shader editor as shown in our example over there Hit, uh, I think hit N. It's gonna be uh, hiding this uh, side panel like this. So let's uh, zoom in just a bit to show it to show you the material. And just I'm gonna be adding a new node. Select your object. It's showed. Uh, it's sh it's shown up in this outliner outliner editor. In this tutorial, I will explain and define some factors for the diffuse BSDF node. So hover over the shader editor like this and shift A and search for. Firstly, you need to click on new. Like this, because you can't add any node in the shader editor. Click on the principled BSDF node. I'm gonna be deleting it like this. Hit X to delete it. Just to have the material output node, shift A, I'm gonna be adding diffuse node like this. It's over here. So what can this node do uh, for our material? So when create a new material, you need some nodes like diffuse BSDF or uh, Musgrave node or many different other uh, shader nodes. So uh, a diffuse shader node connected uh, to the output uh, node. Most materials have a diffuse component, which is why this shader is uh, default. Why this shader is default for new materials. However, it uh, tends to look a bit dull without a bit of a glossy or a similar component mix it into it. Aside from the normal input, the Diffuse node has two inputs, color and roughness, as shown in our example here. Do have also a normal? I will explain the the meaning of these uh, dots, these colors for many dots. So roughness could also be labeled uh, softness. So the higher the value, the softer your surface will appear. Then in general, the roughness controls how much light hitting the surface gets scattered. It's uh, scattered. You can uh, drag to play around with uh, some values, for example, for the roughness as shown here. You can either use the value slider or a grayscale map to control its strength. Technically speaking, a roughness greater than zero. Switch is the sheet method from Lambert to RNIR method. Lambert's law assumes an ideal. Diffuse surface which does not exist in real in the real world. Wild surface uh, looks diffuse due to bumps on microscopic uh, scale. Those uh, bumps don't just scatter the light; they also shadow it a little bit. Or Nayar takes this effect into account. So let's connect this uh, shader node to surface to material output if you want to preview the material over there just i'm gonna be doing some other things click over here so go back to properties just i want to add uh, environment texture open i just want to add the hdr lighting shown in our example over there i used an HDR like this, 4K resolution. 
let's go back to shader editor like this and in order to preview the material over there I'm gonna be uh, switching to rendered view like this but uh, first you need to go back to properties editor click uh, over this render properties I'm gonna be using the cycles the cycles engine as shown here to show realistic uh, results go back to shader editor like this let's switch to rendered view the color of the diffuse PSDF node is for uh, an RGB or a texture you can plug it into color also as you can see here we will play around with the value of roughness and we'll show you the what can this diffuse PSDF node do roughness higher values make the material seem smoother like this so let's just uh, move it so just uh, move this slider or drag it to the right and you can see the difference in between the roughness uh, with increasing values of our roughness as shown in our example we have also a normal normal use a normal mode to displace the surface of each shader of your material individually since there is random factor involved, uh, each ray hitting the diffuse surface will bounce in different direction. This means sometimes uh, it will hit uh, a light source, sometimes it will hit a brighter object, sometimes a darker one. One might think that diffuse shaders does need a lot of samples to clear up, but uh, due to light sampling, the opposite is true because diffuse shaders work perfectly with shadow rays. For example, let's drag uh, the slider so we'll, uh, show you increase in values of roughness. What can that do? And you can uh, see the difference with the uh, high values and low values of uh, roughness. And I will share with you some uh, rendering. Uh, I will share with you some render images over there, as you can see in our example. We have here renderings of a diffuse shader with a different roughness settings from left to right. We have uh, uh, dot twenty five, dot five, and dot uh, seventy five, and roughness one. Note how the material looks, both softer and darker, with increased roughness values, as shown in our example over there. And that's it for this note you can understand much more in the procedural materials notes and procedural materials videos thanks for watching